you're watching Short Class Media. This is Our Glass. My name is Rob Davidson. I'm Kat Ritzo. I'm Nick Young. Today we're talking about creativity and the process of creativity. So, you're an artist, so... I am an artist. Yeah. How, uh, do you, how do you even start? Congratulations. Like I, that, that's, one, you. That, that's one thing where I, if, if I, I can't draw anything. Like, you put a piece of paper in front of me and it's just... I can draw hippos, that's it. That's, that's the extent. Yeah. I was gonna say I, would, I think I would kind of like a little drawing of a hippo, like from my refrigerator. I'll put I'll put a, I'll put a picture of a, yes, one of the hippos. Yes, do. Under. Nice. Go. Uh, well, my creative process is weird because I always say I'm like the worst artist because I have like a lack of imagination. I have to steal from other people to come up with cool shit and stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the cussing episode was earlier. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so like something has to strike, uh, some kind of inspiration. For, well, for example, um, I'm drawing something for my sister for Christmas. Her favorite band is Paramore and I'm a comic book artist or aspiring to be. And so I decided to draw like a comic book version of her favorite band, like in battle. And I'm going to do it as a, and I'm going to do it as a custom poster and print it out as like a poster that you would see at, I don't know, Spencer's Gifts or something like that. How like thoughtful is that? Lady, yeah. is he single? It's <laughs> 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 like, like in the Now video. Yeah, yeah, like a, like for their video Now, it's kind of like a war sequence and everything, so, um, so I'm going to kind of like base it off that video and, you know, she doesn't know what's going on with it, but the reason I even came up with that is because I follow another artist person on Facebook, and she's a comic book artist and had a very similar idea, and I just thought it was brilliant, and I can do something with it, so I just kind of took two things that are already, like, there, like someone else came up with a poster idea, and my sister's favorite band is Paramore, so it was kind of a simple marriage to put together. That's really but, cool. Yeah, that's, that's an awesome idea, actually. Thank you. Uh, what about you for create like the creative process like when you uh, when you want to create something or what what do you do? Um, for my writing, it's usually um, a lot of the times I'm really inspired by pictures of places or pictures of mm -hmm. something. Um, so, for example, like if there's you know if I see a picture of a landscape that I enjoy or whatever, it's kind of like okay, who would I be if I were there? What what story does that kind of hold for me? Um, and then um, kind of explore the ideas of that maybe even do some research of it a little bit to kind of know a little bit about what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, and then actually a big part of my creative process that I don't, I don't really notice, but it does help, is if I'm sitting, like, as I'm writing, um, if I have Celtic music on in the background, I, I, is, I know, yeah. I know you gave me the eyebrow, but <laughs> it's true, I don't know, it's just like, um, the way that it kind of moves, and I guess it, I don't know, I guess it hits like, yeah. the chord of my heritage, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm doing this for my ancestors, yeah. like, I don't know, <laughs> um, but that really helps a lot, so, um, or like, I recently wrote a piece, um, about, um, the, uh, coal miners, um, it's a story of men who work in the coal mines, and you know, the canary and everything. And so sometimes I'll take a situation, just something that I think is interesting that I learned from a long time ago, that, that just stood out in your mind. Because when you're a kid um, and you have memories, there are reasons that your brain holds on to specific ones. So I've yeah. always kind of been, when I'm, you know, when I don't know what to write, I think back about things that I remember learning. Why did it matter that I learned that? And then I yeah. kind of go from there. Yeah. Um, for, for me, it's more, I, I, have, um, I have two times where I... I tend to be the most creative, and that's while I'm sleeping. And so I actually have a. I, have I am a awesome in my sleep. I have a, I have a notebook. <laughs> I have a notebook and a pen like next to my bed, so that I can wake up and be like, "Oh, that idea is pretty cool. Let me write that down." Because if I don't do that, I'm just gonna forget it, and it'll never happen. And then the other time is when I'm like working out or running or being at the gym. Um, that I come up with ideas then, and then I put it in my phone and. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do that. I have that too, where I have bits of dialogue. Like if I'm, you know, if I'm on Facebook and I think of something, mm -hmm. you know, it, it doesn't even need to be a whole story. It can be a concept or, you know, um, a, a line of dialogue or something. Yeah. I'll put it on my phone or my computer yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But then it makes me think of in Baby Mama, where she says, "I have a notebook by my bed," and then I wake up and it's like, "Make everybody twins and electric toilets." <laughs> like, <laughs> or sometimes I'll wake Seems up like and I'll a be great like, idea at the "Yeah," time. or or I'll have a really great idea and I'll write it down, which I'm glad there's the phone now because yeah. I'll write it down. And then I'll look and be like, "What, what did I like, mean by what this? What language yeah. is uh, this in?" Like, yeah, I think we all do that. Uh, yeah, like I, I can't be—I can't have like a piece of paper or a blank computer screen in front of me and be like, 
just be creative. It's it's a, it's a lot harder, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm um, I'm gonna be going back to school and getting my master's in film but when I was looking into it I said well you know I, I really love my writing yeah. and I, oh well, they have a creative writing program and how great would that be and then I sat there going you know these classes they go by the month and so I'm kind of like what if I don't feel like what if everything I write in that month is just absolutely awful like what if it's yeah. just like me going I really don't know what to write I don't yeah. like I love that I'm not making money off of my art right now because I can't force it you know yeah. it's also, um, being forced into a situation to be creative can stunt creativity. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I went to school for art and everything, and um, I specifically went for comic book art, which is um, dominantly storytelling. It's not even so much about actual drawing. It's about being able to tell stories without using words. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be a really, really difficult thing, and I found that out the hard way, especially when, like, you know, classes are, you have to have this done at a certain amount of time, and I'm like, well, crap, I don't know, I'm stuck, like, you know. Um, as I've gotten older, I feel like what has really kind of helped, and this might even sound, like, lame, but, like, just throwing on headphones and going on a long walk... Yeah, and I, I but going well, on yeah. a walk to the gym, playing killer yeah, exactly. music. Yeah. I mean, hello, well, I mean, yeah. you laughed at me when I said it. I think it's just anything that like kind of clears your head and of all the stuff in yeah. the day. Yeah, yeah. Gets so. you contemplative whether whatever's yeah. going on in your life, you know, uh, could be very sentimental or something. But that can poke through into your creativity. Like a lot of people who do the best writing, it comes from life experiences is not just from your imagination. But people always say, write what you know, so... Yeah, mm -hmm. you that, know, that's and that's always... sometimes where I start, too. Sometimes I'll just be like, okay, just tell a story from your childhood and see if that sparks anything else. Right. You know, um, but it's also interesting because uh, I wrote... The, the piece about coal miners is actually very dark, mm -hmm. and... Because um, they're in a mine. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> and I just remember writing it and thinking, you know, um, knowing where I am at to make that as difficult as it is. I said it makes me want to like ask like George R. R. Martin and be like, hey man, are you okay? Like, yeah. do we need to talk about this? <laughs> yeah. And a friend of mine is just like, you know, no, um, he says writers aren't normal and art doesn't come, like art comes from pain. And, and yes, that it can come from other places as well, but I mean, unfortunately, very inspired work usually does come from, you know, y you do say things um, with a broken eye. Yeah. You know, it's it's just slightly off. Uh, crappy art is happy art. I hate happy art. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, though? That's really interesting. It's, yeah. it's also because um, the truth is, is that, like, you had mentioned Thomas Kincaid earlier today. Oh. And I can't stand, like, it makes me... It it's so serene on me. and happy. And, but it's not, and, and it's just kind of like, where, what? I, I get it. I see the appeal for people who don't really want to think. If I may be it's so It's aesthetically old, pleasing, but I wouldn't necessarily call it art. Yeah, I, I mean... It's a, t it's a talented skill. He's a very yeah. skilled painter, but, like, it's not something that's, like, inspiring or anything like that. It's a I think it's a that's the problem is that I think it does inspire people. Like, you know, like, little old church ladies, and they see the chapel and the, and the mountains, and they're just like, I'm going home to Jesus. <laughs> maybe, like, that's great. Maybe it just doesn't inspire me. I look at it and go, that's really pretty, but, like, I, yeah, but, but, but I don't have any emotional Yeah, yeah but we, exactly. What's there? Then again, I don't have any emotional connection to this strange weirdo who, like, you know, tapes a ladder to a wall and calls it, you know, uh, yeah, some kind of abstract, abstract art. performance art. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand the abstract art at all. Like the that thing, that face thing that's in front of the San Diego Convention Center. Yeah. yeah. Oh what, yeah. What is that? <laughs> that half yeah. of it's colorful I, and flowy, and the other yeah. half is like industrial I, and. Yeah. I feel like, uh, as an artist myself, I'm, like, in that middle between, like, really hating my own kind. Yeah. Like, I just, like, good lord, these people are so pretentious. How are you making money? I hate you. Yeah, and, like, they're, like, I look at their art, and I'm like, that is just awful. Like, where, I mean, why is that even, like, something? You know, and then I'm also kind of like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> just not so bad. I'm not going to wine tastings and just being all yeah. snobby about it. I have that, too, sometimes when I do creative art with, um, when I, not creative art, <laughs> studio art. 
you know, yeah. like I would, you know, like you go into the museum and it's like a canvas and then there's a, a red dot here and a black line yeah, here yeah, yeah. and it's amazing. I'm just like, what? This is so yeah, stupid. Yeah. But then at one point in my life, I got really inspired by like scriptures from the Bible and just like wanted to break them down into very basic pictures mm -hmm. and they ended up where like there's a dot here and a line yeah, across. Yeah. I'm like, oh, crap. With, with, with that kind of art, you know. I, I, for one, I'm just like, I don't get it, but on another hand, I'm like, good on that artist for being able to, like, get this into a museum, because that's, right? like, because I, I don't have anything in a museum, so for you to have that up there, that's pretty badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it's like, there's, like, a little bit of admiration there, like, wow, that's, yeah, you convinced somebody that that's art. I was so, going to say, because at some point you have to justify your work, and just be like, no, this really came from yeah. deep in my soul. And yeah, no, the meaning behind that box in a box is this. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's so existential. Yeah, I know. I just like to mention the last time I was really inspired, I was just kind of sitting in the airport of Istanbul, <laughs> and I was just like going, oh my god, these people, <laughs> so beautiful. But it's funny, because the similar thing happened to me in Japan, where I yeah. kind of went, wow, I'm just so serene, and they're just a more calm person. They're more calm of a people. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of our class. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it, subscribe, and we will see you next Tuesday. I'm Rob Davidson. I'm Kat Ritzel.